Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Riverview Baseball Park in Mesa, Arizona. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network. It's play-by-play -play coverage in the 2016 Summer Nationals. And we are underway in an underclass division championship game. Features BNL 15U Red against the LC Sultans. And a ground ball hit into the hole at shortstop, fielded there, and a throw to first base is not in time. It's an infield hit to get things started for BNL. And it's Tanner Foche, the leadoff hitter and the uh, starting catcher that singles to get things underway. It'll bring up Shane Erickson. Each of these teams come in at 4-0. 3 and 0 through pool play and winners in semifinal ball games. And there's a ground ball picked up over at third out at second and a throw on to first base and that is in time. So after an infield single, the Sultans come back with a nifty defensive play. It's a 5-4-3 double play to erase the base runner and the batter Shane Erickson. And now with two outs it brings up Simon Lytle. He's an extra hitter. Seth Nager will bat fourth and play left field. Luis Quintero is the starting pitcher. He bats fifth. Hitting sixth is the second baseman, Diego Aturios. Justin Sanchez bats seventh and plays third base. Sander Alvarado is in right field batting eighth. And Jose Cornejo, the first baseman, is ninth. Jeffrey Pabst starts in center field and bats tenth. First one low and away, ball one to Lytle. Jacob Macias gets the start in the championship game for the Sultans. Gave up the infield single, but then uh, rolls a double play on a ground ball. And that pitch over for a strike in the count one and one. Pitch for a strike in the count one and two. This is the East versus West championship game. Two other divisions in the upper class, or the underclass division rather, a North South championship game going on as well. And there's a ground ball over to first base. Fielded there on a backhand by the first baseman at tap of the bag at first, and that ends the inning for BNL. No runs, one infield single. Runner erased on a double play, and after happening a play, BNL nothing. And the Sultans coming up. Set to go in the bottom of the first inning. Shane Moore, the leadoff hitter, going after the first pitch. Ground ball to short, and a throw on to first base is in time. One pitch and one out for the Sultans in the bottom of the first inning. Moore retired on the ground ball. Again, he starts in left field. Tristan Lively, the shortstop, makes his way to the plate for the Sultans. And Ryan Olson will bat third and play second base. Jacob Macias, the pitcher, cleans up. James Gimler, the catcher, bats fifth. And the ball fouled off of the plate. And that's strike one. J.P. Plowman is the first baseman. He bats sixth. Hitting seventh is the center fielder, Derek Hay. Jason Stamper in right field bats eighth. Jesse Estrada, third baseman, bats ninth, and then an extra hitter at the bottom of the lineup for the Sultans, it's C.J. Herrera. There's a ground ball over on the left side, circled around, and no throw to first base. That'll be an infield single for Tristan Lively. One on and one out for the Sultans, the batter Ryan Olson. And the first pitch over for a strike one. Check over to first and the runner back. Next pitch high, and they count one and one. One on, one out. Bottom of the first inning, no score in this underclass division championship game. It's East versus West. And a 
pitch for a strike. The count goes to one and two. Defensively for BNL, it's Seth Neger in left field. Jeffrey Pabst in center, Xander Alvarado in right field. Turn and throw to first, got him leaning this time and just able to get back. The infield for BNL, it's Justin Sanchez at third base. Shane Erickson is shortstop. Diego Aturios plays second, and Jose Cornero at first base. And down on strikes goes Olsen. Two away in the inning for Jacob Macias. Tanner Fauche, the starting catcher for BNL, and the starting pitcher, Luis Quintero. So now runner at first and two away. First one to Macias over for a strike. Next one uh, gets away. It uh, was a breaking ball low and away and then not able to snare it there as Fauché. So it's a uh, wild pitch to move lively to second base as the count goes to a ball on a strike. Slowing away, two balls and a strike. Final day in this 2016 Summer Nationals tournament put on by Southwest Woodbat Classics. And a line drive at the shortstop. Will end the inning as Erickson is there to put it away. And uh, the Sultans are done in the first. They get a one out infield base hit. Runners left at second base. And after an inning of play, there's no score. Four, five, and six in the order for BNL in the top of the second. Seth Nagger takes low and away for a ball. Nagger, Quintero, Eturios for BNL in the second. Ball popped up down the uh, left field line. It'll take a bounce and go out of play. And the count one and one. We didn't get through the Sultans defensively in the top of the first inning, so we'll give it to you now. It's Shane Morris starting in left field. Then Derek Hay in center, Jason Stamper in right. It's Estrada and Lively on the left side of the infield, Olsen and Plowman on the right. And there's a fly ball into right field, and Stamper there to make the catch one away. That brings up Luis Quintero. works behind the plate for the Sultans. Macias, the starting pitcher, delivers high to his uh, opposing pitcher, Quintero, ball one. And the next pitch misses for a ball, 2-0. Oh. And the 2-0 -oh pitch on the way. Breaking ball misses inside, 3 0. In and the wind in the 3 0. And that's low and in, ball four. First walk given up by Jacob Macias. Second base runner for BNL. They had an infield single to start the ball game, but lost the runner on a double play. One on and one out for Diego Iturios. Pitch over for a strike. See is the right-hander with a set, and that ball delivered uh, into left field and caught by Mora for out number two. Sinking ball sort of tailing away from Mora, but uh, did a good job to stay with it and was able to bring it in for the second out. 
Runner has to stay put at first base, so now two outs with a runner at first for Justin Sanchez. And that ball fouled off of the plate for a strike. Well, a couple of out-of-town teams, one out-of-state here in this championship game, BNL or baseball's next level, based in Tucson, and the Sultans, the LC Sultans from Las Cruces, New Mexico. And next one bounced in, backhanded and knocked down by Gimler to keep the runner held at first base. And they count one and one. No scores. We play in the top of the second inning. A runner at first and two away. On an overcast and windy day. And a ball foul down the third baseline. The count goes to one and two. And we'll take the break as long as the, uh, the storm doesn't come in or if there is a storm that's passing through. I don't know. It's... Uh, a little bit more blue skies to the east, but uh, some gray to the west. Swing and a miss there. We'll retire Sanchez and BNL in the second. First strikeout for Macias. After an inning and a half, there's no score. Yeah, ground ball base hit through the left side and into left field to get things started in the bottom of the second for the Sultans. James Gimler, the catcher, with a solid single. He'll leave for a courtesy runner, and it's Ryan Olson on to run at first base. J.P. Plowman, the first baseman, will bat with a runner aboard at first. No score, bottom of the second inning, upper class, make it the underclass division championship game, east versus west anyway. Pitch fouled off. And that is strike one. Tiara, the right-hander, bent at the waist, checks over to first and delivers. That one bounces and gets past the catcher, Fauché, and that sends Olsen to second base on a wild pitch. And that ball driven into center field, and that's going to burn the center fielder Pabst. It'll be a race now as the ball goes all the way to the fence. Coming around third to score is Olsen going into third base. Plowman, and he will stop there. RBI triple, and it's 1-0 Sultans. Coming around to third base with a run in. The batter is Derek Hay. And first pitch bounced in, blocked by Fauché to save a run. Next pitch off the plate, and again goes to 2-0. Next one on the way, and it's a swing and a foul ball. The count goes to two and one. Day four in this tournament as uh, things got started on Thursday night. I don't think all divisions started Thursday, but that's when the tournament opened. Able to take uh, care of some of the local teams to get some of their games played. As that ball is rolled to short, runner holds at third base, and a throw on to first is not in time. Good hustle down the line and an infield single for Hay. Three straight hits to start the inning now for the Sultans. They've added a run already, and they've still got two aboard and nobody out. And there's Jason Stamper, the right fielder.
Throw over to first and the runner back. And that's going to bounce in and get away, and that'll get another run in. Plowman scores on a wild pitch to make it 2-0 Sultans. Second wild pitch of the inning for Luis Quintero. And the next pitch high, and it's two balls and no strikes. And that ball hit well out to right center field. That's going to split the outfielders and go just about to the warning track. Hay will be waved around. The throw's going to go to third base. They got a shot at him, and the call is safe. It looked as though maybe the tag was applied as Stamper got to the bag, but base umpire over there. Going to get a question out of the B&L dugout just to... Uh, Get clarification as to what the uh, umpire saw. For sure the run will score. And the way it stands now, it goes as an RBI triple for uh, Jason Stamper to make it three to nothing. And not much you can do there as a coach, come out and ask. Not really a play where you can ask for much help. I suppose you could ask. I don't know that it's uh, going to be offered up very often and so uh, play is going to stand. 3-0 our score with Stamper now at third base and still no one out. Jesse Estrada to the plate. Ball fouled off the handle of the bat. And out of play for strike one. Strata, the third baser in the first batter to have a chance to bring in that runner from third. See if we can get him in here. The one strike pitch. That's going to go to the backstop. Runner's going to try the throw to the plate and out the call. Like Stamper got tagged on the arm coming in. Got a solid bounce off the backstop. Fauché hustles to get there, and Quintero applies the tag. So the Sultans have scored three here in the bottom of the second inning, but have a runner thrown out at the plate. And now Estrada will try to get it started with one away. Swing and a miss, and the count goes to a ball and two strikes. Three straight, make it four straight hits to start the inning, and the first three runners scored. The fourth runner thrown out at the plate, though. And the next pitch bounced in, two balls and two strikes. Still a busy day of baseball here, all four fields here at Riverview with uh, games underway. And that is a called third strike. I think that's uh, only out number two. But uh, Strada the second out of the inning, and now the batter will be C.J. Herrera. Ten hitter in the order for the Sultans. First pitch, ball one. Three nothing, Las Cruces with the lead in the bottom of the second inning. Over 
forest rank in the count one and one. Terrell running and the 1 1 pitch. Over the outside corner of strike, it's 1 and 2. And the 1 2 is a breaking ball fouled off. Quintero make it. Uh, Quintero got it over there. Herrera just able to get a piece to stay alive. And that's over the outside corner, a call third strike. So Quintero comes back, gets back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the second. The Sultans, though, score three runs on four hits, and after two, they lead three to nothing. Sandra Alvarado, the leadoff hitter for BNL. Mighty swing and a miss for strike one. Pitch fouled out of play. One ball, two strikes on Alvarado, Cornejo, and Pabst to follow for BNL in the third. And there's a line drive, and that's into left field, a base hit. So Alvarado with a leadoff single. You know, had a leadoff base hit in the first inning. Runner lost on a double play. And they had a one-out walk in the second. Couldn't get the runner past first base. We'll see what happens here in the third as Jose Cornejo, the first baseman, steps in. And a ground ball. That's in the hole and threw it into left field. Another base hit. A shortstop lively shaded a little bit toward the bag. Maybe playing them that way, maybe just uh, more of a double play depth. And Cornell is able to get it into left field. Now two aboard with nobody out for Jeffrey Pabst. Top of the third inning, BNL trailing the Sultans three to nothing. Ball bunted out, and uh, boy, had that runner way out between second and third, but no throw back. Bunch shown again. It's popped up this time. Kimler can't get to it, and it's a foul ball. Yes, with a look back and a swinging foul ball. Still 0-2 on Paps. Tanner Fauché, the leadoff hitter next for BNO. And a fastball, swing and a miss. Moved it way off the plate and got Paps to chase. One away in the inning. the catcher who had an infield single to start the ball game. First pitch bounced in down at the feet of the catcher Gimler. 
That allows Alvarado to go to third base. He got a better read than the base runner at first, Corneo, who stays put. So double play stays in order. Runners at the corners with one out. Ball out to short, could be two. There's an out at second, on to first base. And uh, with that trailing runner not going on the wild pitch, BNL bounces into their second double play. Six, four, three on the double play to end the inning. And uh, BNL has turned away no runs, couple of hits in the inning, one runner left on it. After two and a half, BNL trails the LC Sultans three to nothing. Top of the order for the Sultans in the bottom of the third inning. A ball off the handle. Short hop picked up and a fire to first base. And that is in time. Shane Moore, the leadoff hitter for the Sultans at the plate. And Erickson, the shortstop, knew he had to get rid of it in a hurry. So he did. He circled around it nicely to... Pick that ball up on the short hop. And then uh, fire to throw over to first base. Now Tristan Lively, he takes strike one. Had an infield single his first time up. And the next pitch is strike and it's 0-2. Quintero with the 0-2 pitch, low and away, one ball and two strikes. And that ball hit hard out to the second baseman, able to knock it down, and that gives Eturios time to throw on to first base to get lively two away. Two outs for Ryan Olson, the second baseman. And a breaking ball over for strike one. And next one, another breaking ball. It misses for a ball. They count one and one. Sultans lead 3-0 as they bat in the home half of the third. Pitch outside, 2-1. And, Terrell ready again, and his next one on the way, and it's a ground ball. And past the third baseman, Sanchez. And that might go as an E5. It uh, looked like a pretty good bounce, and uh, should have got him about a waist high. He went over and uh, just went past the glove and into left field. Whether it scored a hit or an error, it's a runner at first base with two outs. Throw over to first and the runner back. Jacob Macias, the pitcher at the plate for the Sultans. Again, a throw over, runner back standing. Strike 
on Messias lined out to Erickson a shortstop to end the first inning. ball down the right field line. They count 0-2. Runner at first base, Olsen with the lead throw over, and that one short hops Cornell, but it got a piece of it to keep it right by the bag. 3 nothing our score. Sultan's got three runs on four hits to start the bottom of the second inning. Four straight hits and three runs. Pitch a ball and they count one and two. And that's been the only run scored so far in this one. Playing in the bottom of the third inning is the East versus West under class division championship game. The one two. And a fly ball into right field. Going to be a bit of a run over there, but Alvarado gets in to make the catch. And the side retired. Sultans do not score the bottom of the third. After three, they still lead three to nothing. Two, three, and four in the order for B&L. In the top of the fourth inning, it's Shane Erickson taking a strike. Macias with the next pitch bounced in there and they count one and one. The ball grounded foul over on the third base side off the Sultan's dugout. Ball and two strikes on Erickson, who bounced into a double play back in the first. And a fly ball to center field, and a long way to go there. Hey, able to run it down. He makes the catch for out number one. One away for Simon Lionel, who grounded down to the first baseman Plowman to end the first. First pitch outside, ball one. Fouled out of play. And again goes to a ball and a strike. Perfect 4 0 record for this BNL club in the 2016 Summer Nationals as Lionel takes low and away 2 and 1. Three pool wins. They beat Nutty Buddy 16U 7 1. They beat the Aggies 4 2. And they beat T Rex 15U by a score of 6 4. There's a ground ball foul, and the count goes to 2 and 2. And then in the semifinals, BNL opened it up, put it on a little bit. They beat the Grinder 16U by a score of 14 3. And here's Macias with a 2 2 pitch. That's up and away. Three balls and two strikes. Seth Nager next for BNL in the fourth. A 3 2 is a swing and a miss. down on strikes. Third strikeout for Macias. And now 
now he goes after Seth Neger, who had a fly ball to right field his first time up. out and low. One ball and one strike. And pitch over the outside corner. Near it anyway for a strike and a count one and two. Two outs. Base is empty. Top of the fourth inning. BNL trailing the Sultans three to nothing. And the one-two pitch. Off the plate, two balls and two strikes. And the 2 2. And that'll be a called third strike to get Nager. Back to back strikeouts to end the fourth inning for Jacob Macias. And after three and a half, still three to nothing. Shelton sent up five, six, and seven in the order in the bottom of the fourth inning as James Gimler takes low and away for a ball. And fouls the next one out of play in the count one and one. Gimler was the guy that got things started in the bottom of the second inning for the Sultans when they had four straight hits and three straight runs to begin the inning. There's a hard shot. That's off the glove of the shortstop, Erickson. It's another one of those that uh, caught him on a short hop. He was able to pick up one earlier. That one off the bat of Shane Moore. This time, glances off his glove and ends up in a shallow left center. So Gimler aboard at first will be lifted for a courtesy runner. It's Tristan Lively that runs this time. First pitch misses, and uh, oh, we're going to call the runner out at first base as Lively went back to the bag standing. I think it was going to be a close play over there. The runner called out over at first base. Another one of those situations where the runner didn't slide going back to the bag. down the right field line. And caught right up against the fence. That's a great play out there. Running out of room in right field, but Alvarado makes the play. And that is out number two. And brings up Derek Hay, the center fielder. Chopper out to short. Erickson waits on it, throws to first base, and is stretched by Corneo at first. It's in time, and it's a 6-3 ground down to end the fourth for the Sultans after four, still 3-0. And Luis Quintero leads on for BNL in the top of the fifth inning. First pitch bends him back up and in ball one. And ball off the handle popped up behind the mound. Going to be a tough play and a sliding catch by the second baseman Olsen. Wasn't a whole lot of uh, altitude there on the ball. Macias gingerly backing down the back of the mound. 
Lively coming in, and it was Olsen down on his knees to make the catch for the first down. It brings up Diego Iturios. And a line shot, and that'll bounce and get past Lively and into left field, a base hit. Fourth hit of the ball game for BNL. One on and one out for Justin Sanchez. First pitch low and away, ball one. ball out to left field. That's going to hang up in the wind a bit. And Mora over there to make the catch. Runner will retreat to first base. Two away for Xander Alvarado. Bounced and got past Gimler to the backstop. Beturios to second on a wild pitch. Now Gimler was out to talk to Macias, then he was joined by the Sultan's coach. And as we get back to play, Macias drops a breaking ball over for a strike to Xander Alvarado. And a slow chopper. Lively will charge backhand, throw on the run, and not able to scoop it out at first base, and that'll get a run in. As Atrios never slows down going around third base, and he is in. That should go as an infield single for Alvarado and then an E6 on the throw to allow Aturios to come around to score. But uh, PL on the board with a run in the top of the fifth inning. They now trail 3 to 1. And Jose Cornejo grounds one up the middle, fielded. At the bag by Olsen. He'll tap the bag at second, and that will end the inning. But uh, BNL Red get a run in the top of the fifth inning after four and a half. They trail three to one. The first pitch to Jason Stamper over four strike. Bottom three in the order for the Sultans in the bottom of the fifth. Stamper, Estrada, Herrera. And the ground ball out to short, fielded there, and on to first base in time, McCall. So Stamper grounds out 6-3 to begin the bottom of the fifth. Jesse Estrada, who was calling on strikes his first time up. Takes over the outside corner, strike one. And another one over for a strike. It's nothing in two. Three runs for the Sultans in the bottom of the second, BNL with one in the top of the fifth. Three to one is our score as we play in the bottom of the fifth inning. Pitch just misses, one and two. And the line.
line drive right at the second baseman. Hauled in there for Aturias for out number two. C.J. Herrera, who was called out on strikes to end the second, bats with two outs. The base is empty, going after the first pitch. Lifts it into shallow right field, and uh, coming in, Alvarado makes the catch. And it's a quick and quiet three up, three down inning in the fifth after five, still three to one, Sultans. Pinch hitter for BNL as we begin the top of the sixth inning as Travis Higdon bats in place of Jeffrey Pabst, and it's a swing and a miss for strike one. And that ball hit the other way and down uh, into left field for a base hit. Going to try for second base, a throw way ahead of the runner at second and gunned down. No reason in the world you want to run there. Down two runs with six outs to play. That's a tough out to take it there at second base. It's a hustle out at least, and so you can look on it from that standpoint as a positive. But to Hegden with the single and then thrown out trying to advance to second. That ball just tipped off the glove of the pitcher. Deflection and then on to first base is in time. That's the leadoff hitter, Tanner Fauché, that grounds out one, four, three. And that is out number two. Bring up Shane Eriks in the shortstop. <laughs> First one to Erickson, way outside. It goes to the backstop for ball one. Three to one, our scores. We play in the sixth. It's the East versus West. Underclass Division Championship game of the 2016 Summer Nationals. And a hard ground ball. That's a fair ball past the bag. And our runner will come around for a second base. And in this time with a double, a two out double for Shane Erickson. And the tying run comes to the plate for BNL in the top of the sixth. Simon Lytle will step in. And a fly ball out to center field. Should end the inning, and it does as Hay tracks it down. And BNL is done in the sixth. They get a couple of base hits in the inning. Leave one, and after five and a half, still trail three to one. Top of the order for the Sultans in the bottom of the sixth. Shane Mora takes low for ball one from Luis Quintero. Quintero's had a pitch out of a couple of innings with a little bit of trouble. Had just the one rough inning, that ball. Hammered out to left field. That's going to bounce a couple of times and go to the fence. And it's extra bases to start the sixth inning. Shane Morris stops at second with the leadoff double. And now we'll see what the Sultans do here, leading three to one. Runner at second and nobody out. Number two hitter up there. Will they try to move the runner to third base, or are they content there to uh, let... Lively swing away. One of their more dangerous hitters and uh, being heavily recruited, I was told, before the game. Uh, schools around uh, New Mexico and uh, a couple of the big Texas schools. And a deep fly ball to center field. And runner will tag from second and move to third. So it's not going to go as a sacrifice. The result, though, is the same as they do get the runner to third base after giving up an out to do it. So Mora to third with one away. 
BNL, I would expect he'll bring the infield in here as Ryan Olson will bat. I gave you the BNL numbers uh, as far as their pool victories in the semifinals. The Sultans have not had a contest really based on final scores. Obviously, uh, maybe uh, things got out of hand late or something like that, but they've uh, put up, especially in the pool play, gave up or put up big numbers. As Olsen takes high for a ball, they beat Gaucho's Red 23 to nothing. Then BNL 15U Blue, double digit win there as the next pitch is low, 2 0. And then a 20 to 3 win over AZ Pro Gray. And their closest game was in the semifinals. They beat Angels Orange 5 to nothing. Pitch for a strike, and the count goes to two and one. Runner at third base and one out. Bottom of the sixth inning, three to one the score. And a ground ball, base hit. That's into left field, and that'll get the run in to make it four to one. And the Sultans get their three run lead back. RBI single for Olsen. That's the situation. Also the number three hitter, but a runner at third and one away. That's where you don't want to try to do too much. And he gets the job done. That prompts also a timeout from the BNL dugout. Playing at the bottom of the sixth, it's four to one. Pitching change for BNL in the bottom of the sixth inning. Nicholas Price on to pinch. And the first pitch to the cleanup hitter, Jacob Macias, outside for ball one. Runner goes, and the ball hit down the right field side, but foul. And out of play, and they count one and one. Strike on Macias. And the pitch over for a strike, and it's one and two. Breaking ball, that's knocked down over third. There's an out at second, and a turn of the double play. Price comes in and rolls a ground ball double play to get BNL out of further trouble. Sultans do get one of the runs back, or the run back, and uh, we go to the seventh inning. It's four to one, Sultans in the lead. Go in the top of the seventh inning. It's four, five, and six in the order for BNL. Seth Nager leads it off. And trying to bunt his way on. Bunts it foul down the third baseline. That's strike one. Fouled out of play on the left side. It's 0-2. And Macias into the wine of the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball bounced in there, and they count 1-2. and two. Hits are even at 7 apiece. But the Sultans lead four to one. The ball fouled out of play. Right 
Nagger 0 for 2 today, a fly out and a strikeout. That pitch well off the plate, and they count 2-2. Two and two. And another ball fouled out of play. Nicholas Price in the on-deck circle. Of course, he came in to pitch for Quintero, so that's the uh, spot where he would be. Breaking ball high, three and two. BNL looking for base runners here in the seventh inning. Got to get a couple of runners aboard to get the tying run to the plate. The ground ball over on the right side took a nice high hop. Turns into an easier play with that hop there. And Olsen throws out Nagger for out number one. Price in to hit for the first time. Diego Iturios next for BNL. And the first pitch over for strike one. Macias into the one of the one strike pitch. Breaking ball over the outside corner and it's nothing in two. He is back to it, the 0-2 pitch. Fastball high, one ball and two strikes. Each of these teams in here at 4-0 in the Summer Nationals. And that's into right center field, and that's down for a base hit and uh, gets past Hay. Playing a little bit shallow, so Price will Move into second base, a one out double. Hard shot. That's going to get past the shortstop lively, and BNL will bring the tying run to the plate in the seventh. Lively dropped to the knee there and trying to catch that one hopper on the way by. Runners at first and third with one away for Justin Sanchez. And Sanchez swinging away. First pitch fouls it off the end of the bat. Strike one. Two aboard with one out in the seventh. Again, it's the tying run at the plate for BNL. Pitch a strike, and it's 0-2. Sanchez struck out swinging in the second, hit a fly ball to center field in the fifth. And a ground ball, that's a fair ball past the third baseman Estrada. One run will score. Throw goes into third base, safe there, and moving up to second is Sanchez. RBI single makes it four to two. Now the tying runs are on base and in scoring position. The go ahead run comes to the plate and a timeout from the Sultan's dugout. We play in the seventh, it's four to two. 
Pitching change for the Salted. C.J. Herrera on to try to get the final two outs. And the first pitch to Xander Alvarado over for a strike. Torrios at third, Sanchez at second. And that's muscled foul out of play on the right side. It's 0-2. The two strike pitch is high, one ball and two strikes. And the one two from Herrera overthrew it a little bit there, two balls and two strikes. The ground out start of the inning. Three straight reach, first one has scored, the other two still on base, it's second and third. Jose Cornejo next for BNL. Herrera into the wind, the 2-2. Fouled out of play right side, still two balls and two strikes. Macias stayed in the ball game by the way and uh, is playing at third base. Alvarado with a couple of base hits in two trips. Unofficially anyway, based on our scoring. And Herrera with a nod into the wind, another 2-2. And that's just over the head and into right field. One run will score. They'll hold the second runner at third base. And Alvarado delivers an RBI single and it's 4-3. Now the tying run is at third, the go-ahead run at first base. And the batter is Jose Cornejo. BNL has responded with two runs in the top of the seventh inning, down four to three. And a high pop-up, could be out number two. And it will be as Macias makes the catch. Now two away for Travis Higdon. Then going after the first pitch, fouls it back for strike one. Well, I'm over at first base, not holding Alvarado on, so we'll see if he tries to go to second base. First and third with two outs, two runs in for BNL, but they trail. Four to three after the Sultans added a run in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss, and it's 0 and 2. And the 0 2. And that's hit into shallow left field, and a foul ball. Umpire signaled foul. The left fielder Mora put his hands up right as he got over there as well. So foul, but not by much. No balls, two strikes on Higdon. And a ground ball up the middle, fielded, tap of the bag, and out 
at second to end the ball game. Fielder's choice ends in as Alvarado was forced at second. It was a, a valiant effort for BNL on the top of the seventh. They come up short as they get to two runs on four hits in the top of the seventh inning, and they leave a couple of runners on base. And we go final as the LC Sultans beat BNL 15 year red by a final score of four to three. And the totals then on the ball game, unofficially for a BNL, three runs, 11 hits, two errors, and six runners left on. For the LC Sultans, four runs on seven hits. They commit one error and they leave two runners on base. So that uh, will do it here in the East versus West under Class Division Championship game, the winners, the Las Cruces Sultans. So that'll do it again, our final score. It's the Sultans four, BNL three from Riverview Baseball Complex in Mesa, Arizona. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long. We hope to talk to you again soon.